along my journey. Along my journey, I have often felt forsaken at times by God. I realized that it was during those times that he was carrying me. This was validated on a day in September 2010. At a meeting with 200 witnesses, I had a re revelation and the most phenomenal sensation took over me. Jesus wrapped his arms around me. He lifted me up and my feet left the floor. In the audience, I heard a voice say, I believe in this sort of thing. The man standing before me asked me what it felt like. In order to describe what it feels like, I'll have to show you a picture. The words came out of me presenting it to him as if it were in an art museum. I described a big picture in an antique frame. The background was that of a blue-gray sky with two cherubs holding onto a swirl of a cloud, a tornado-like cloud. How do you know about this picture, he asked. I don't know as I've never seen it before. Then how do you know about the picture? Jesus just told me to tell you about it. Where can I find this picture? I would start in the museums, but when you find the picture, you have to promise you'll believe in me, him, forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen, he replied. Jesus told me to tell you to start in the Vatican. It's there as a long-lost treasure waiting for you to find. Jesus will make sure that it pops out at you. Just three days later, and on a Sunday on Fox News Boston, reported by Maria Stefanos, spread across the big screen was the picture described as a long-lost treasure that was discovered at the Vatican. It was the picture, exactly as I had described it to this man from Europe, two cherub angels holding onto a swirl of a cloud. I was absolutely beside myself with amazement. I fell onto the couch. What does all this mean? Why did all this happen? Why did it happen to me? Why did it happen to me with this particular man? How could I have known about the picture, yet it was long lost? I struggled for some time that followed. I've told this story repeatedly, believing that someone would hear my voice, understand the importance, and help me to find this picture again. I did much research, and am confident I know what this picture symbolizes. I'll discuss this in a later blog. I've been quite disappointed that for many their response was, is, that's not possible. It could never happen. I wonder why then, that they read the Bible. Jesus is not just some once upon a time character in a storybook. He is alive. He was resurrected and I saw him. Much to my surprise, and lo and behold, now four years later, I crossed paths with a woman who was in this infamous meeting. I asked her if she remembered the incident, and she does. She states she will never forget it, and did witness my feet leave the ground and hear me describe this picture. I now have four viable witnesses, two who saw the news report, a friend who heard my many stories of the incident, and after the fact visions, and now this woman who has sworn to testify to the fact. My life has changed forever. My mission is to give living hope to broken people through a growing relationship with Christ.